Hello, everybody. Right now, we're welcomed with uh, David Henry. Hey, David Henry. Thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year to you, too. A uh, new decade Absolutely. as well. Oh. Absolutely. So uh, D David's going to uh, give us a quick run through of some of the top products and for Connected Home. Uh, we're pretty excited to see this. So what are yeah, you going to Yeah, I'll start just off start off. There's a few big things we're talking about at CES this year, the first of which is 5G. You're going to see 5G everywhere. Right. Uh, we're the ones, and 5G is all about faster speeds, more bandwidth, more connections. We're bringing 5G into the home. Uh, this is our 5G mobile hotspot. It's going to be the first uh, unlocked 5G hotspot in the oh, world. Yep. Uh, and folks are going to be taking this and providing this as an internet connection, not just when I'm traveling and on the go, but also at home. We see a lot of people are using 5G and LTE as a substitution or a failover for their uh, wireline technology right. like DSL or cable when it goes down. If it's too slow, you go 5G and LTE. Yeah, and that's pretty cool. So for those of you back at home, the, the 5G, so that hotspot is almost the size of a wallet. Yeah. Uh, slightly bigger, but it has that much power, which is awesome. That's And it's amazing battery life. You put it in your laptop bag, you take it to go, you're at right. a hotel, you're at an airport, you got a private connection, Anywhere. you don't have to worry about getting hacked because yeah, you're the great. only ones on your connection. Yeah, and even cloud gaming. So, you know, Absolutely. cloud gaming's huge. So yep. we had Nighthawk Pro Gaming here, which we'll give everybody a, a run through. But you can also cloud game from that. Absolutely. I mean, you think about it, you start off at home on your PlayStation, right. then you get in the car, you're, you're playing on this thing, yeah. then you get to school during recess or lunch, yeah. you're playing on your school's internet connectivity, you can play games all yeah. day. And we're oh, enabling that definitely. both in the home and on the road. So for those self, so, uh, for the self-driving Teslas, yep. where you're in traffic and you got an hour commute, cloud game, we're oh, using the... Hey, it, you mean, can stream Netflix now yeah, on oh, there the Tesla. You go. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> well, not yeah. now you're driving. Yeah, any, any one of those. All right, yep. good stuff. So what do we got next? Yeah, so as I mentioned, people are using uh, 5G and LTE in the home right. as an alternative for broadband. So we just said, let's develop a product just for that. So this is an Orbi, which is a wireless mesh uh, internet system right. that instead of using cable or DSL, it has an LTE modem directly inside. Wow. So okay. you sign up with a mobile plan, and this connects internet directly to the LTE or the mobile connection right. and provides Wi-Fi throughout the home. And because it's Orbi, it works with all their other Orbi oh, technology. Awesome. Our outdoor Orbi, our wall plug right. Orbi, our voice Orbi. All those Orbis can connect to this to give that mesh experience. And you know, Netgear, we're really the only ones who have that expertise on LTE and 5G, right. but also that, that expertise on Wi-Fi mesh. So we're oh. bringing the best of both back into back into Definitely. Home. So do you see people when they're traveling taking the Orbi LTE or the mobile hotspot or both? So I, I think I think you're gonna see uh, two scenarios. Okay. Today, they're using this uh, because it's, it's mobile and they can use it right. on the road. Yeah. But let's just say you have a vacation home yeah. and you're gonna be there for a week. You don't want to sign up for internet uh, for, your, for a week. Right. Uh, let's just say you, uh, you're going to be someplace that's remote and you got to cover a, a larger home. Well, a, a mobile hotspot's not designed to cover a large home. Gotcha. So folks who have larger homes or vacation homes or rural homes, this is the solution. Cool. Or even many devices too. So you can yeah. have a, a, a decent sized home, but then many devices wanting to control the, net, uh, the network. And of course, a vacation, you're going to want to stream the Netflix and, and wherever you are. So I, I, and you brought up many devices. So you know i got to go to, to Wi-Fi 6. Oh, next. yes. Of course. Yeah. Wi-Fi 6. So what's Wi-Fi 6? Yeah. So Wi-Fi 6 is the sixth generation of Wi-Fi. Can you believe we're at the sixth generation oh, already? Yeah. And I've lived through all of them. Yeah. Uh, but the sixth generation of Wi-Fi, it used to be called 11AX, but that was too confusing. Yep. Wi-Fi 6. This is our Wi-Fi 6 mesh system called okay. Orbi. Wi-Fi 6 is just like Wi-Fi 5, 4, 3. It's about faster speeds and more range. Right. But for the first time, we're also focusing on a brand new pain point, and that is network efficiency and capacity. When you have 100 devices in your home all connecting at the same time, right. today's networks are going to bog down. Wi-Fi 6 is designed for that. Yeah, and so David said hundreds of devices, but and so some, some people back at home might be like, ah, 100 is a lot. But actually, it's not. Because if you think about your, your watch yep. or your, your cell phones, but then there's also the uh, security cameras and anything, and even the door locks that are smart home. It's hard anything. to buy something today that is not connected to the internet exactly. in right. your home. And right. So that number is just going to accelerate, not just by the number of people in your home, right. but pretty much everything that you have in your home is becoming smart. Yeah. And the smarter it gives, it adds value, and it's going to need a, a good connectivity. Yeah, and definitely. And so, so now some of the newest uh, phone carriers yep. and laptops and, and all those have the new Wi-Fi 6 chip. Yeah, the, so. the, the iPhone 11's got it, the Samsung, um, all right. the new uh, Intel notebook platforms, they've all got the Wi-Fi 6, which is great. Uh, because now, for the first time, you can have your 
streaming devices and your gaming devices right. not interrupted yeah. by gotcha. you, you might have an old legacy device. It's not going to slow down your fast devices because right. Wi-Fi 6 can cover that. Yeah, that's cool. And th it's a refresh design too. It's kind of nice. It's yeah, a little bit silver cool. and it, it looks, looks cool. yeah, it looks pretty cool. Yep. Um, all right, so that covers the the products. And uh, at Analyst Day, Heidi talked about. Uh, services yes. and, and subscribers. And yes. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, you know, at, at Nikki, we're about the three P's. Performance, obviously, we're all about wireless performance. Yep. Privacy, you know, we keep our customers' data private. Yep. And the last P is protection. Yep. Protection is important. So for Netgear, protection means cybersecurity. So right here on the wireless router, uh, we're running a security uh, engine that can protect all the devices in your home. Awesome. So let's just say you, co you come home with a brand new laptop and, you know, you give it to your friend and they they go to a, a rogue site or a, a phishing site or right. some of those sites, we'll block it right there at the router. Yeah. We notice a URL, an IP you awesome. shouldn't be going to, we'll block it right there, uh, and it protects every device on the network. Right. I mean, think about it. You've got 50 devices at home. You can't load software on 50 devices one by one by one by one. And you can't load software on your light bulb. Oh, you yeah. can't load you know, semantic on your... Uh, you know, on your refrigerator, right? Right. So you need to have protection at the router, and our Armor cybersecurity is yeah. designed for that. We're the only ones with it. Yeah, and I think what's pretty cool about Armor too is that uh, it's also security on the go. So yeah. you got a device on the go. Not only can you manage uh, and kind of look at your network back at home, but then also your devices that you're carrying with you. So yeah, that's really important. It's, yeah. it's, it's kind of a comprehensive protection right. uh, because we're a, we live a mobile life, and I'm protected at home. But I want to make sure that even when I come to Las Vegas. My device is still oh, protected. Definitely. We have software that runs on your notebook, uh, on your on your Macs, PCs, phones, right. Android, iOS, all that. We cover those even when you're not at home. Yeah, good stuff. So yeah, we're always connected. So you got to always be protected. So that's, that's it. It's important. Yeah. So all right. So looking to the new decade. Yes. Um, we're in 2020. Uh, what's what do you see in the the future of Netgear? What do you a thousand devices? About? Oh, there you you're go. gonna have a thousand devices in your home, and it's right, gonna be go. harder for Netgear, but we're up for the challenge. Yes, yeah, yeah, we're there. Wi-Fi yep. six and eventually uh, Wi-Fi ten. Eight, nine, yeah, 10. whatever it is. Cool. Yeah. All right, well, thanks a lot, David, for All spending right. time with us. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Thanks for tuning in.